Al Zeke, trainers Mickey Cobb and Paul Gannon. And now the Royals coaches, hitting coach Lee May, third base coach Mike Ferraro, first base coach Jose Martinez. In the bullpen, coaches Gary Blaylock and Jim Schaefer. And now the rest of the team. Infielder Onyx Concepcion. Outfielder George Porta. Infielder Greg Fire. Outfielder Jimmy Orange. Outfielder Hal McCray. Catcher John Lacker. Pitcher Mike Jones. Catcher Jamie Quirk. Pitcher Mark Dubazo. Outfielder Darrell Watley. Pitcher Danny Jackson. Pitcher Steve Falk. Pitcher Joe Beckwith. Pitcher Dan Quisenberry. Outfielder Lynn Jones. Pitcher Charlie Ebrey. The pitcher is ready And now the Kansas City starting lineup. Here is Royals manager Dick Hauser. He was the Royals' leading hitter over the last six weeks of the season. Leading off and playing left field, Ronnie Smith. He has 12 hits in nine postseason games this year to lead all players on both teams. Batting second and playing center field, Willie Wilson. He all major league hitters with a 585 slugging percentage this season. Batting third and playing third base, George Brett. He is a six-time Gold Glove winner who hit 22 home runs this season. He's batting fourth and playing second base, Frank White. He hit two home runs in the championship series against Toronto. He's batting fifth and playing right field, Pat Sheridan. He has won six gold gloves in the league season. He's batting sixth and catching it, Jim Sundberg. He set Royals team records with 36 homers this season and 64 over the last two seasons. He's batting seventh and playing first base, Steve Balboni. He had a key double in the Royals' comeback against Toronto. He's batting eighth and playing shortstop, Buddy Biancalana. He was a 20-game winner this season at age 21 in his third professional season. Warming up in the bullpen and batting ninth, tonight's starting pitcher, Brett Saberhagen. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's meet the 1985 National League champions, your St. Louis Cardinals. Beginning with the Cardinal support staff. Equipment manager, Buddy Bates. Trainer, Gene Gieselman. And the Cardinal coaches. Coach, Red Shandings. Coach, Hal Lanier. 
Coach Nick Leva. Coach Johnny Lewis. And in the bullpen, Coach Dave Ricketts and Coach Mike Ward. And now the rest of the Cardinals. Outfielder Cesar Cedeno. Infielder Yvonne De Jesus. Infielder Tom Wallace. Infielder Mike Jorgensen. Catcher Tom Nieto. Outfielder Brian Harper. Outfielder Steve Braun. Outfielder Vince Coleman. Pitcher John Tudor. Pitcher Bob Force. Pitcher Jeff Lottie. Pitcher Danny Cox. Pitcher Todd Worrell. Pitcher Bill Campbell. Pitcher Ken Daly. Pitcher Rick Horton. And pitcher Kurt Kepshire. And now the St. Louis starting lineup. Here is Cardinal manager, Whitey Herzog. He led the National League in hitting. His 353 batting average is the highest ever for a National League switch hitter. Leading off and playing center field, Willie McGee. He was the most valuable player in the National League Championship Series. Batting second and playing shortstop, Ozzie Smith. He was the first Major League player in 35 years to drive in 100 runs while hitting fewer than 10 homers. Batting third, playing second base, Tom Hurd. His dramatic ninth inning home run in Los Angeles put the Cardinals in the World Series. He's batting fourth and playing first base, Jack Clark. He had 34 stolen bases this season, one of five Cardinals with 30 or more. Batting fifth and playing right field, Andy Van Slyke. His base is loaded double one Sunday's game in Kansas City. He's batting sixth and playing third base, Terry Pendleton. He was the most valuable player in the 1982 World Series. He's batting seventh and catching Darrell Porter. He has a 455 batting average for seven postseason games this year. He's batting eighth and playing left field. Tito Landrum. He is the only major league pitcher to win 20 games in both 1984 and 1985. Warming up in the bullpen and batting ninth. Tonight's starting pitcher, Joaquin Andujar. Ladies and gentlemen, now 